Good morning, welcome to a turn two on Wednesday the 18th of June. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. Okay, looking at the pound dollar first, and as you can see, we remained pretty consolidated in a very tight range over the last couple of days. Now, it's uh, today could be the uh, mover and shaker. Uh, we've got this morning, we've got the Bank of England minutes, which I'm not so sure will make a big move, but uh, certainly we've got the FOMC this evening, uh, which could give a much bigger move. Uh, we'll see a bigger move and see us either break to the upside uh, beyond this uh, long term resistance level, um, around about 170.50, so sort of some of that region. Um, or um, indeed move back down to the, the 167 level uh, which has been the long term support area so it may just keep us in range with, uh, with cable um, at the moment just looking uh, we, I mean, we mentioned divergence a couple of days ago uh, we tested the 21 yesterday could still come down break down the way it's moving at the moment could just break down towards that 50 um, got no sort of intraday targets at the moment the, the the as you can see the range of these four hour candles are inside bars there's no real action there looking at the euro dollar then and I'll just bring the daily up there we're still sitting as again sitting in a very tight range expecting that some sort of movement out of this as I mentioned numerous times we've got a lot of uh, options uh, sitting below us so it's uh, providing um, a lot of support there uh, but today we could see that uh, breached or indeed we could see um, a rally see I say today this afternoon um, in a very very tight range here I wouldn't be shocked to see it stay within that range for most of the session leading up to that news event um, looking at the four alleys it's not really given too much away there's, a, there's some key sort of areas looking at the 135.77 sort of area and then as I mentioned one the uh, well actually 135.12 is the sort of uh, key support area somewhere in that region 11.12 um, which may just provide us support at the moment looking in this very sort of four alley picture to me it looks a bit bearish at the moment you've got this sort of bear flag sort of sitting here uh, which could could see us come back and test those lows once again Okay, that's it for me. Hope you have a great day. Bye for now.